Hey, it's me. I noticed that when I got my Phantasm disc set, which uh, five movies, or so on, or I, there's the ones that are out now. I don't know if there's going to be a sixth one. I'm sure at some point there will be, but I don't think you can have a Phantasm film without Angus Grimm. But they tried to have a Friday the 13th film without Freddy Krueger, so yeah. And they tried to have a Ghostbusters film without it, Egon. And I I cannot remember his name. Was it Harold Ramis? I think it was. Yeah. He he made that. He made that film work. He was the writer. He understood it, really. And now, now I'm just looking at the DVDs that I got, and I noticed that instead of giving you those nice pages of plastic that held the DVDs separately, they decided to do this piece of crap stacking thing. I hate that. I hate it with a passion. And I'll tell you why. I hate it because the second to last DVD gets scratched up by the surface of the last DVD. It's the worst. But every DVD that's stacked on top of one another they move around even a little bit and scratch each other up. That's a little too small. And I can't stand it. I, I can't stand having a scratch disc. And that's because I had that. I had that with my Final Destination DVD set. I had all of the movies. And I was so happy because I had every one of them. I could watch them, binge them, I could enjoy them to their fullest, and then I noticed they were stacked. And I thought, hey, that's not so bad, uh, kind of a, not really great, but then I found that the fourth DVD was scratched up. And I, I wondered, would it even play? It did play. It did play. That was good. What was not good is that some of the scenes stopped and the DVD player would stop playing because it, it couldn't read anymore and I had to fast forward past certain points so that I could continue the movie I had to go online to see the complete death scene on some of them and that really upset me because I had the DVD I should have been able to see that death scene but no, I had to skip over parts of the movie, so I couldn't even enjoy the full experience. Not the best, not the worst, maybe. I think it wasn't the worst. It might have been. I, I can't remember for sure. I'd have to rewatch it. But I cannot stand the idea of stacking your DVDs like this. It's a terrible idea. Spend the money on the plastic. This only cost me $15. I'll pay $20 to make sure that my DVDs don't get scratched up. But because they did this stupid thing where they stack them and they give you these tabs that never fully close so you can get them out, I had to do some creative work here and with my uh, Final Destination CDs. I used Kleenex, which I really shouldn't have used for the Final Destination one, but uh, fabric of any... most fabrics are abrasive to an extent or too thick for you to close these things, so I try to go with napkins because... well, not napkins, no, 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 but the Kleenex, Kleenex, the tissues. But those are still a little abrasive, but they at least kept them from moving around, so that was good. But here I'm using just an old plastic bag and using the plastic from there. It's thin, it's soft, keeps them from moving around, keeps me happy because I don't have these things scratching up. It works well. Because they have a tendency to move around in there, I... a little bit of something on there. I don't know what it is. It's it just picking up out of your DVD case, moving around any bits, if you're moving, or just trying to shuffle things around, maybe even reorganizing your set. If they are loose in there, they will move around one another. And if they do that, they scratch. If they scratch, then you're ruining your DVDs. And this is 
a set I do not want to have that happen on. And you know what else pissed me off? This. This had the sleeves. But the tabs here are so small that my Stephen King's Pet Cemetery fell out. And you can't probably see it, but there are scratches all over this because it got down here, it was resting on the case and moving around. I didn't open this up right when I got it and made sure that it was all right. I should have done that. If you buy anything with multiple discs, do that. It's a service announcement. Public service announcement. Collector's service announcement. Do this. Get some kind of soft material. Plastic's really good. Very soft. Great cushion. And plastic like this is very thin. Easily warped or anything like that. It is great because it won't it will not scratch your DVDs. It's thin enough. You can put them back in there and they will fit. You can get them out, but more importantly, they're safe. They're safe from harm. And that's what you need. Cuz this looks absolutely atrocious, but it's better that the packaging the the makeshift packaging solution that you're doing here is bad rather than the quality of the movie or DVD that you have. This is a way of protecting your investment and your collection. And, yeah, so people say, well, you could just get a different DVD case. I just, yeah, I, I could. I could. And then what would I do with the other DVD cases? And who's to say that I wouldn't just be throwing my money away when I could just be using some scrap plastic bag to hold this all in there, and, you know, I could trim around the plastic and clean it up so that it's not so bad, and they're all in there, it should be, yeah, because I got everything in there, just double checking to make sure I didn't miss anything, I can go along here and, you know, clean it up a little bit, just take that and remove that, just a little bit of the excess taken off, and yeah, it still looks bad. But like I said, it's the interior of the DVD case. The exterior looks fine. The DVDs are going to be preserved. It's good. It, you're not going to open up a cushion on your couch and say, oh, that's an ugly looking thing. You cover it up. And in this case, when the case is closed, it's covered up. And your movies are still preserved. So, you make the choice. And maybe some people are going to say, no, this isn't the way you do it. Well, this is the way I'm doing it. And maybe you got a better way. But this is my way of doing it. It's crude. But then again, so is this idea that this kind of case would actually work. Do not like it. But I got my DVDs. They're safely stored. You know, you can't see the plastic there. You don't hear them rattling around. They're safe and secure. And that's how I protect my investment with DVDs. And by the way... Because I've got Tremors and Phantasm, I'm going to be doing reviews on both series. So, all six of the Tremors movies, including uh, A Cold Day in Hell and Bloodlines. Which... Wasn't that a Hellraiser? Yeah, that was a Hellraiser. Well, that would be kind of interesting. Which is better, Tremors 5 Bloodlines or Hellraiser Bloodlines? Uh, but I'm also going to be doing Phantasm, all five movies. You saw them as I was putting stuff in, except maybe Ravager because I was already covered. But this is what I'm doing to protect my DVDs. If you've got other ideas, share them. Because, honestly... Let's see this. Eh. Share your ideas on protecting your DVD collection. Because other people may not have realized this, or... They're going to realize it too late. So let's watch out for each other and come up with whatever ideas we can to make sure that these movies get preserved.